Happy Friday. Today's video we're going to be summoning for Wind Monkey King. Well, yeah, maybe I should wait for Water Vamp Hunter. Or, yeah, maybe I should wait for the collab units that are coming up. But I don't care. I want Wind Monkey King. So I have roughly about 300 scrolls. Hoping to get some new units today. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Click and a skip and a no. 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 Click a D and skip a D and no no no. Click and a skip and a no. Click and skip and a no. Ooh, tip it to no. Wait, it's not a tip. I'm sorry. This is just something that's been requested by a lot of viewers. What are my Orbia's current stats? Almost 6,500 attack, 100% crit, 212% crit damage. I still got a five star unawakened piece and crit damage here. All of the substats are really good, so it's been really hard to replace this. I can't find a good crit damage necklace. Same with this ring here. It's got a lot of crit rate, and that's what's kind of holding me back on this ring. But it's got crit damage and attack. So those are really just two pieces of gear that I do plan on replacing at some point. I just got to find that perfect piece of gear. The more you know about my Orbia. Okay, today, I've been saving up since the last summon session, which was the Water Chimera banner. I think during that time I finished Cleef's area explorations, I've been working on Kina's main story, and we've had a bunch of events, including the Galagos one, and not to mention the Valentine's Day event which is crazy good for summons. I talked about that in one of my last videos. Alright, we're going to do 200 summons on Wind Monkey King banner. I got some legendary scrolls, some fire water wind scrolls, and I have 19 light and dark which I'm going to save for the end, and I'm hoping to get Crow at the least. Give me a Crow. And I'm not talking about Crow. Don't get me mixed up, Calm to us. I know you're listening. The game's on. My microphone's on. It's going straight to the Calm to us servers. I know you're going to mess with me. Conspiracy theories. But let's get summoning. All right, let's go first 10 summon. I'm just going to hope for them purple clouds. If not, then I'm going to skip, and I'm going to skip. Fire Werewolf. Alright, next 10. Let's go. Give me them purple. I just want to see a wind monkey night, but I probably won't. It's a skip. See, I keep saying night, and now I get a wind penguin night. That's what happens. See, Comp to us is listening. I want a wind monkey king. A king. I said a king. Maybe Werewolf used to be a king, and he got a spell put on him, and then he turned into a werewolf, right? That's what had to have happened here. High elemental, he's very high on the royalty list. That's why I said king, and that's what Com to us was thinking, but it's not right, Com to us. War Bear could have been a king after he fought a lot of battles and war. You know, he was very highly uh, appraised, you know. More knights. I said knight, I gotta reset. I said knight in the beginning, and it screwed everything up. So I'm gonna go out and say, hey, I'm here for the Wind Monkey King. Not a wind monkey knight, a wind monkey king. So now that it's reset on this first 10 pool, I'm definitely getting the wind monkey king. Nope, I lied. A pixie. A pixie is a servant of a king, so obviously wind monkey king is coming up very shortly. See? That's what I'm talking about. The pixie, and it comes up and it gradually pushes up here. Let's go. Taste my thunder. Uh, taste my thunder. Uh, taste it. All right, that's one win, Monkey King. So now I have definitely mileage. So I have two, four more to go. All right, 10 more. So it's going to be a win, Monkey King back to back. No. Win Lich, good. I need some skill ups for my Fire Lich, because the Fire Lich and the Dark Lich, I wish I had Dark Lich, but I don't. But Fire Lich is pretty good. Nothing there, just a bird. A griffin is a royalty type of bird that kings would fly in medieval times, duh. So that means definitely it's gradually pumping up again to nothing. All right, War Bear, Light One, too. So that means I'm getting a Light Monkey King. Oh man, this is going to be crazy. 10, go, purple clouds, bam, nothing. Just a bird. Now, the Garudas were the scouts for all the kingdoms in the land for the Wind Monkey King. So when there is a Garuda that shows up, it's a very symbol that the king is coming. 
it's time. Oh, but this is not a Wind Monkey King, but is a Galleon. I'll take a Galleon because Galleon's freaking awesome. All right, very nice, very nice. That's cool. I'll take that. All right, seven more temples till I get that Wind Monkey King. So let's go. Ten purple clouds. Pirate Captain. Pirate Captain is not in the royalty family. He stole from the Wind Monkey King. And stealing from the Wind Monkey King led to going to church, meeting the Wind Epicon priest, who, can, who you know, relieved him from all of his sins of stealing, which led to a meeting with not the king, but it was actually the executioner, which killed the Pirate King. Pirate King then went to Valhalla, met a Viking who was actually supposed to be in line to be a king but he didn't become a king but he didn't become a king because he's crazy so they went to Uppsala if you know what Uppsala is met a witch the mystic witch which then in turn went to turn that viking into a king but since I skipped through all of the story he's dead again as a ghost so let's back up a little bit because this is about the story of the wind monkey king not about the pirate captain so let's get back on track of the story of the king. So the ghost wanted to become a king, right? So he had to haunt the kingdoms of the lands to try to become the king. He finally, finally found the king, but the king left the land and he got to the vagabond, which is really like just the king's soldier, right? He's the king's protector. Who is the protector protecting, right? It's got to be the wind monkey king, right? No, it's not. It was the entry to the cave of the Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental was the scariest elemental in the lands. But who defeated this Fire Elemental? Only one person could defeat the Fire Elemental. And guess who that is? It is Wind Monkey King. See? The story leads up all the way to where it needs to be. And then after that, he becomes the greatest king in the land. 200 kings before him, but he becomes the greatest one in history. And that is the story of the Wind Monkey King. Now, you may wonder what happened after the Wind Monkey King. Did he keep his kingdom and his throne? Well, it took about eight more years to find out what happened to the Wind Monkey King. His faithful advisor, Wind Pixie, was there with him. The Fire Imp was very jealous of the Wind Pixie. He was so mad that he defeated her brother, the Wind Living Armor. This angered the Wind Harpy gods. The Wind Harpies attacked the Water Fairies because they thought fairies were related to the Pixies. But what they didn't know is that the Water Fairies were protected by the Water Mummies. Water Mummies are very hard to beat. So during this great battle, the Wind Yetis came down from the mountains hurling big boulders and rocks. But because of this battle, it brought all of the king's protectors, the vagabonds, and left the fire elemental awake to ruin all the land, which in turn killed the wind monkey king and his throne. His kingdom was destroyed. All right, let's see what else we can get with the rest of our wind scrolls, water, fire, legendary summons, and our light and dark. Let's go with the wind times 10. Maybe I'll get a wind monkey king from this, huh? Let's get some purple clouds here and get a wind monkey king. No. Just the wind vagabond. That's all right. Let's go. Skip. No, I'm going to wait. Wait and see the purple clouds because it gets me pumped up. No. Bunch of three stars. But I get my mystical mileage. Legend scroll. Thank you very much. And my last times 10 with this wind. And it is going to be nothing. Whole lot of nothing. All right. Water times 10. Three times. Go. We are looking for purple. Nope. Another times 10, and that's what we're looking for. What's the water? What would I want with water? Maybe some Camilla dupes. That'd be nice. Just a water inferno. I kind of want a dark inferno. I saw one of my friends on Discord talking about dark inferno and just doing some crazy stuff with it. So I just want to, I just want a dark inferno myself. I right, listen, man. All right, 31 fire. Let's just do the one skip. Bam. Fire pixie. You know what that means? We're getting a fire monkey king. That's what that means. The fire monkey king. I'll just add that to my collection of nat fires. That'd be great. No. Oh, it's a sign fire pixie again. That means fire monkey king is ramping up right here. Bam. Go. No. Holy mother of nat fours though. Four nat fours on that pool. All right. Get another legendary scroll. Thank you very much. Is this it? Is the king coming? Is the king coming? Fire monkey king. Purple. Boom. 
No. The high elemental once again. Royalty. All right, let's pull this legendary wind summon right here. Boom. And it's going to be Mr. Zing Zay. Is it going to be Zing Zay? No. Lizard man. Legendary water. Water Amazon. Free to play unit. This is it. This is the fire monkey king. Because the king is coming. That's right. I'm telling you. Purple. Nothing. Purple. Nothing. All right. I can only do times one summon on these. I'm going to try to do these a little bit quicker. All right. Click summon words. No words. Click summon words. No words. I'm looking for words. Click, skip. No. Okay. I'm going to click and a skip and a no. 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 Click a D and skip a D and no, no, no. Click and a skip and a no. Click and skip and a no. Ooh. Click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and a no. Ooh. Click and a skip and a no. No. Oh, snap. Where's my words at? I don't even know what Argon says. But it's probably something about biting your face off because it's a vampire. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Back to my techno. Click and skip and a no. 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 All right, so we got four monkey kings. We got a pirate captain and we have a wind vampire. Pretty decent so far. Now it is time for the 19 light and darks. And it's also time for more techno. Click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and a oh light pirate cat what pirate cat what oh snap I don't even know what to think all right swings the sword kicks the enemy target two times each hit has a certain chance to apply beneficial block effect okay swings the sword to attack the enemy five times each hit has a chance to apply attack down a defense down okay uses pirate strike if pirate captain is invincible so he'll do this and if he has invincibility he will do the second skill. And then you have the ultimate, which implies invincibility to himself. So he needs invincibility. So you have to use invincibility monsters with him. That kind of sucks, but whatever. I have two light and dark nat fives that are technically probably some of the worst. Grats me. All right. Back to techno. Click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and an imp. Ooh, that's a new imp. I'll take that. But we're going to click and a skip and a no. Click and a skip and a harpy. Click and a skip and a golem. Click and a skip and a war bear. Click and a skip and a nagami. Oh, holy crap. My dogs are going crazy. I'm out of breath. Tom to us listened. It's a conspiracy. Just go ahead and comment down below and tell me how much of a conspiracy this is. Content creator luck. Blah, 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 blah. Holy moly. Click and a skip and an inagami. All right, click and a skip and a let's keep going. Click and a skip and a let's keep going. Hey, Dark Mystic Witch. I actually want Gina for actually Battlefield and for Seal. All right, click and a skip and a no, mummy. Click and a skip and a no, mummy. Click and a skip and a no, Grim Reaper. Oh, all right, that's a new Grim Reaper too. And I actually always wanted Thrain. It doesn't show it on here, but the multiplier on Doomsday is crazy. Click and a skip and a no harpy. Click and a skip and a no Frankenstein. Click and a skip and a nat five. Oh, just got one of the best units. I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to stay here for a minute because this is very shimmery and glimmery and I love it. Holy crap. On the last light and dark summon. Tian Lang, me and a couple other people were just talking about Light Panda the other day. And it delivers. Thank you, comp 2 Wuss, for listening, invading my privacy, and giving what I want. Thank you. All right, so Light Panda. He is an HP-based damage dealer. He's a bruiser. He's a warrior. That's what he's supposed to be. His first skill, 565% attack, plus 18.7% of his max HP. This is an AoE damage, which is an AoE stun. 70% rate, that's pretty good. His second skill, an AoE skill deceleration of level 2. And this is an AoE that does per hit every second 100% of attack, but 3.5% of max HP. And this also decreases mana by 1 every second, if the target is a summoner. 
This is out of control, unbelievably awesome. His ultimate pulls everyone in as well. Level 3 skill deceleration does HP every second and decreases mana by 1. I'm building this bad boy as soon as I can because he is crazy good. Okay, that's it for today's video. Um, I'd like to thank the pixies and the fairies of the lands, all the yetis from the mountains to protect the kingdoms of the wind monkey knight, and also the wind monkey king because I keep saying knight, all the vagabond protectors of the throne, rest in peace pirate captain. If y'all like my content, I appreciate you and I love you. Sub, like, and hit that bell. See you in the next one. Peace!